Elon Musk is known for his bold and futuristic ideas, but I think Mars Colony is his boldest one yet. During the International Astronautical Meeting in Australia in June, Elon Musk revealed his mission to colonize Mars and make humans an interplanetary by sending at least 100,000 people to Mars in a gigantic spaceships that are capable of carrying hundreds of passengers each. While this all sounds cool and revolutionary, scientists have a lot of concerns about the mission. There are a lot of reasons why space scientists think Elon Musk's plans to colonize Mars are horrible. According to him, this all will be completed in 20 years from now using a technology that we haven't created yet. First of all, the whole idea of colonizing Mars is just too expensive. Sending people to Mars would cost trillions of dollars. Elon Musk, among others, has made a number of proposals for this colony, but they're all nonsense. The numbers don't add up. They'll never add up. Imagine the cost of sending thousands of people on missions that will take at least eight months to reach an empty planet, where they will have to be supplied with everything they need for years, if not decades, to come back. Each person will need dozens of supplies, supplies that will cost tens of thousands of dollars a kilo to get to Mars, not to mention that each mission will require dozens of support missions. And still there's no guarantee that it will work out perfectly as planned, rather than spending our resources on an insanely difficult mission such as colonizing Mars, it would make a lot more sense to focus on fixing our own beautiful planet and establishing a permanent presence here. As our technological capabilities are developing rapidly, getting to space is becoming cheaper and easier every day. But we still need to focus on improving our technological power before trying to go colonizing anywhere else. Having a small number of people to stay on Mars for a short period of time is one thing, but having a fully functioning society for any purpose is a very different thing. From transporting enough supply, building enough power stations, and other facilities to dealing with a harsh environment, many things need to perfectly go in order for these kinds of missions to succeed. SpaceX rocket is still not capable of enough cargo to make a Mars colonization realistic in the given timeline. Even if you manage to send 1 million people to Mars at one time, it would require at least 100,000 rockets to get there. That's assuming the rockets were 100% effective, which they're not. It's obvious that scientists have interest in exploring the universe. In fact, many of them are saying that it's underfunded, but they also think that a full-blown colonization of another planet is beyond our current technological capabilities. Moreover, there are millions of other places we can create a sustainable society if that was really what we need. Do you know that there are over 2 trillion Earth-like planets just in our galaxy? Yes, you heard me right, 2 trillion. And scientists have concluded that many of these planets could actually be habitable with the technology we have. So why not build a better and easier colony on these planets or moons instead of the deadly red planet Mars? In fact, there's this one planet called Proxima b that is almost identical to Earth with all the necessary ingredients for a human being to survive, and it's only 4.3 light years away from Earth. Don't you think creating a colony there would be much easier and safer? Another major problem that many scientists and experts are raising is that SpaceX doesn't have enough budget for all this. The company even doesn't have the rockets with the capability to carry all these necessary supplies. Elon Musk's timeline for the mission is also far away from realistic. He plans to send the first rocket as early as 2022, but scientists say that the mission requires at least 10 years before sending humans to the Red Planet. Mars is more than 75 million kilometers away from our planet, and even with the most advanced rocket we presently have, it takes more than 7 months to get there. Imagine how hard it will be for the astronauts to travel this far. Even if they survive the journey, they will land on a planet with no breathable air and the temperature often below negative 120 Celsius, not to mention the hazardous levels of cosmic radiation too. No one knows how human bodies will react to these kind of harsh conditions for such long times. So more than anything, we need information about conditions on Mars before sending anyone, let alone living there permanently. There are a lot of unknowns about Mars that make it a risky place for human beings. Scientists have only begun to scratch the surface of understanding this deadly planet, and there's a lot we still need to know. It would be foolish to try to colonize it without a better understanding of what we're getting ourselves into. With no immediate access to advanced treatments, the passengers will have a million ways of dying both during the journey and on Mars. 
As I said earlier, it takes years to get people and supplies to Mars, which means that if something breaks in space or people get seriously sick, they will have to wait for years to get help from Earth. Experts have already warned multiple times about sending people to Mars this early, saying it's almost impossible to get everything ready in time. This will lead to sending people to Mars before the infrastructures are well set, which can turn the whole mission into a disaster. Their other concern is that the people they are sending will be totally dependent on SpaceX for their safety, as they will have no proper training. This can cause a big disaster if anything goes wrong throughout the journey. Having people well trained before sending them to Mars can significantly reduce a potential danger through the journey, and SpaceX would have more time to get everything ready. Space scientists say that training periods could take up to 18 months. This means people will not get to Mars before 2024, and let's say 10 years of preparation period is added to this. Then humans won't land on Mars earlier than 2032, but no one knows whether it is even possible to prepare astronauts for this a long time. Recent researchers show that the astronauts' immune systems and bone density are affected by the duration on space. NASA is running a 17-day isolation program to study how crew members deal with being locked in small spaces with each other for a long time. However, sending away more people for more than 18 months would be more difficult and will cause more problems. As I explained in one of my previous videos, despite having a completely breathable air and fresh water, Scientists who work at Antarctic bases suffer from serious mental health disorders, such as depression, irritability, aggressive behavior, and memory deficits. It's no wonder that they want to stay drunk all winter. And trust me, living on Mars would be way more difficult than living in Antarctica. Imagine how much more expensive it would be to stay drunk for your entire life on Mars. We human beings particularly don't enjoy such a long period of isolation, and we don't function well under those harsh circumstances. Life on Mars will be full of difficulties. It's not even possible to grow food there because of its low gravity and radiation. People like Elon Musk raise terraforming as a solution to these problems. But again, we don't have the resources and technology to terraform a planet too. Even if we have the necessary technology, Mars cannot be terraformed. It has no magnetic field and the air will be blown away by solar wind as fast as it could be liberated from native minerals. We've only been in space for a few dozen of years, and we've already caused a lot of problems. It will take us much longer than people like Elon Musk think to fully understand how not to cause another problem in the space. Once we solve this, I'm sure there will already be an easier and cheaper way to get to Mars. Overall, experts think that Musk's Mars mission is not well planned and irresponsible. No one even knows why he is promoting this mission day and night. So the question comes down to why does Elon Musk want to promote the Mars mission then? Many experts think it could simply be for publicity. At this point of time, colonizing another planet is beyond our reach and isn't really a realistic idea. We know only few things about Mars, and there are a lot of questions that need to be answered before sending any human live on this mission. Many scientists think that Musk is just too unambitious and it's impossible to get humans to Mars as early as he says. There's nothing wrong with being excited about exploring our universe. In fact, I think it's underfunded. But a colony on Mars is currently beyond the reach of our technology and science. And finally, I think our goal for the future should be a clean, healthy environment here on Earth, with adequate food, housing, and quality of life for the population of this planet. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or ideas in mind, do let us know in the comments down below. See you in the next video.